Okay, uh, my topic today is uh, Ubuntu contributions and membership. So uh, you can call me Fenris. I mean, that, uh, it was my nickname for in IRC. And I'm one of the uh, Ubuntu membership board. Uh, luckily, I managed to extend my another terms for another two years. I just uh, been elect re-elected as a Ubuntu membership board. So about me. So from the past, I was a R&D engineer at the one of the agency, Malaysian agency, which managing the uh, ICT. And I'm also the advisors and consultant for government agency related to OSS. I'm a part of it. I mean, I move on to be a business development and a project manager for a few private companies that involve with uh, government's projects. So this is uh, some of my previous employer. And uh, currently, I'm still a Ubuntu member since 2008. And like I said just now, I'm still lucky to be on board as a membership board. And I started being with a membership board since 2012. I feel like a very old uh, person uh, being, with the, uh, with being with you guys. And still involved with uh, various projects with uh, Ubuntu, primarily focused on community, education, government, and enterprise. So I'm, a, I'm also one of the uh, member of the General Foundations. And a part of it, I'm also an organizing committee member for Ubucon and Gnome Asia Summit. And as of now, I still uh, coordinate and lead the Ubuntu Malaysia local team and Malaysia Open Stack user group. And a part of it, my daily job is basically running and operates my own uh, startups. Okay. So, uh, may I know from the floor, is this uh, all from uh, Ubuntu community or just coming to be joined into the Ubuntu, uh, Ubuntu event? Anyone? Everyone on the floor is uh, all the OSS users or I mean like from the different operating system as well? Okay, no worries. Okay, the contributions. So who contributed, contributed now? So there is a companies interested in developments of product to fit their industry needs. Company with profit from supporting their open source program. Volunteer professionals doing development in their free times for fun or to advance their career. And there is a hobbyist and students who enjoy their works. So these guys are basically now currently contributing to open source, I mean, like for example, like our principal, I mean, like the canonical. So who actively, I mean, as a main contributing to the, our Ubuntu projects, I mean, like to make the, the software run smoothly on the securities, on the pages and everything. So uh, most of the uh, communities or the peoples on the public, so it means like thinking how we need or how to get involved, right? So they are keep asking, why would I want to? What can I do? And how do I start? So this is uh, some questions that are flying around in their heads. It means like, yeah, what can I do? Right? So, and a part of it, and then what I can do is like, why I need to contribute. So, yeah, why I need, for me, if you guys are, why you need to contribute is first for knowledge, right? So with like this uh, conference or the summit, you guys can gain uh, knowledge. And then of course, you guys can uh, making a friends. I mean like for, for me, I mean like, I just meet all the, Ubuntu Koreans uh, local at the Prague last two weeks and nice to meet you all and then as for today I also meeting a new uh, participant for this uh, conference maybe after the I'm uh, finishing my sessions that we can have a chit chat if you have any questions on the community and then 
of course, we can have fun instead of after we have a friends. I mean, like, yeah, I'm not talking about only this uh, circle of friends. I mean, it's like, actually, Ubuntu have make mean I mean given me a experience uh, like lifetime experience. I mean, like, it's not about you can manage to get a, a friend in your local. I mean, like, local community but you can have a friends uh, worldwide. I mean, when you go to a summit or you can have a conference, you can meet a new friends and have fun with it. And then, of course, if you like a good contributors or something like that, this is like a token for you, a token of appreciation for you. Maybe like the, the sponsors might flew you to any of the country or any regions that you manage to get, All right? So like, has also managed to be sponsored by Canonical last two weeks in the prop. So I have a chance to uh, sightseeing in the prop as well. And a part of it is another opportunity for the uh, community to advance in career in Canonical as well. So you guys can see because right now Canonical are uh, opening more posts than you can see on the career page. And then after all those things that you can make your friends into a buddy. I mean, because like this is one example that Bhavani, I mean like I haven't met him last past a decade. So managed to meet him again in Prague. So this is uh, me and Bhavani and of course our founder, right? Much to us. So I met Bhavani in last Ubuntu Developer Summit, which is a, a decade ago. So then, this is basically why you need to uh, co contribute. Okay, and then, of course, just now we are questioning, so what can I do? So this is basically what can you contribute? Of course, uh, you can contribute in the codes, right? You, I mean, like, if among the flaws uh, is the programmers, everything, so they can contribute to the codes. And then you can also contribute into the uh, bug fixing. After you do the bug fixing, you can, uh, part of it, you can do the software testing. And then, it's not about only technical things that you can contribute. So basically you can contribute into the uh, documentation as well. So there is like uh, lots of uh, open source uh, projects out there that I uh, need like a uh, technical uh, writings, uh, feedbacks, or uh, blogs or something. I mean like uh, writing on the projects. And then this is like another non non uh, contribution that you can give like giving the, I mean like improving the UI or the UX of the applications on the graphics and then this is one of basically how you can support uh, Ubuntu communities. For example, for supporting me, like if we, if you join the local, and then there is uh, some problems with the uh, new members that need help. So this is a part of it that you can contribute. So it means like assisting the new members to be uh, get know well of the uh, open source projects, especially uh, Ubuntu. And then, but last but not least, at least you can do the promotions, right? I mean, maybe some of their uh, users on the proprietary softwares, and then you can help to do like the advocate or enthusiast of the, each of the uh, open source project. And for this uh, uh, conference, I mean, especially uh, Ubuntu as the operating system. Okay, so after, I'm sharing what you can contribute. So, of course, what is the next step? So, the next steps you need to have like an account in the our portal. So, a single sign-on account that you can. You need to have this in order for you to participate in the. I uh, mean, like if you want to push the codes or you want to report a box on the launch pad and everything. So, yeah, you need to have this uh, account. Then, like I said just now, I mean, like you can go to this website, loco.ubuntu.com slash teams. It might list all the uh, local 
local community. So basically, I will use the word local. I mean, local stand for local community. So from the uh, portal that you can uh, have all uh, countries of the local that have participate. I mean, have a representative. So I am basically the photo is basically where you to Malaysia local. So I'm a part of the uh, admin. So you can uh, thoroughly uh, choose and join the team. Like I said, if you are in the Korean, there is a co Korean as well. I mean, like the Korean team listed, then you can join the team and follow the instruction on the lunch pad. Once you join, try out, try to reach uh, the members of the teams or the admin, either in RIC, mailing list, or inside the discourse. Okay, uh, I mean, how to begin, right? So basically, like I said, after you have an account and everything, you, you go and find the projects, uh, which, which project that you want to contribute. And then you find the mailing list, or you subscribe to their mailing list, and then you find the uh, channel, I mean like the IRC channel. Still currently, uh, they are communicating through IRC, but in the last summit, uh, the uh, community uh, teams from Canonical are looking a uh, way, I mean, a new methods that match our current uh, scenarios. I mean, like, which is the platform that make life instead of using the old school IRC communications. And then after you have joined and then you have uh, find the projects, then you need to feel, that, I mean, like, what's uh, being a part of the projects. Right? I mean, either you feel comfortable with the uh, kind of projects or maybe you need to find another project which is more suitable for you. I mean, like if you are a techie guy or techie uh, ladies, then you might go into the uh, technical uh, uh, projects. And then if you feel like you are more like uh, designers, uh, technical writers and everything, I mean, like then you m can contribute on that as well. After you have a feel of that, and then start taking up the task and start contributing, right? So, yeah. So, after you have all, uh, doing the, all the contributions, I mean, it's like people that from the community will acknowledge about your contributions and everything. Uh, then I take this opportunity as well, I mean, like, specifically for the uh, Ubuntu projects that you apply for Ubuntu memberships. So basically we have uh, the membership. So the application process, which is basically, first you need to write your contributions. I mean, what projects and every, uh, your contribution to which projects, either Ubuntu or other open source project, either on this course or the, on your wiki. Then you need to sign up the Ubuntu Code of Conduct. And then we need to add there with the uh, uh, Code of Conduct. And after that, you will be uh, reviewed and then uh, interviewed by the uh, mem membership board. So yeah, like I said just now, so the process will be prepare your application in this course or wiki and then uh, sign code of conduct. So a part of after you uh, sign up for code of conduct, so when you contribute to the projects, right, so you might know the main contributors of the project, so, uh, and then the community will give you a testimonial, like either if you have, uh, for example, you being in the uh, Ubuntu security uh, projects, you keep uh, reporting about the bugs, then you meeting marks, right, so maybe, then later Mark will go to your page for the wiki and give some testimonial. So that will help us on the uh, membership board to actually not so-called uh, just just to get uh, thorough, I mean like thorough evaluations your contributions that give you uh, marks. We de we currently doesn't have a specific. Um, uh, marking uh, schema to evaluate. So it's up to the boards to evaluate how they all contribute either technically or non-technical. And then this uh, testimonial is basically very really helps us to, 
to prove that you are contributing to the uh, projects. So, yeah, you need to have like a RSC with a registered name, a uh, registered nickname, so we know that this is basically is you who are we interviewing inside the uh, interview sessions. And then, uh, then after all these uh, processes, I mean, it's not like a tedious process, it's really like, uh, it's uh, very straightforward. I mean, if you are comply and then you are contributing, so we evaluate. And then, uh, last but not least, you will be, after that, reviews and the, bo the board is voting for you, and then you are already certified as uh, one of our uh, Ubuntu memberships. So I think the canonical will, I mean, this one, the certificate, you can apply online, then canonical will uh, send the certificate uh, straight away uh, to you. So I'm not sure, I mean, like, I have much to say, but I think I want to open up into the floor, you mean, like, if you have some uh, questions or any uh, inquiries, how you still have a, how to, how you want to start uh, to join the community or how you're going to to contribute to community. So can I just uh, open up to the floors? I mean, like, for questions or any inquiries? Anyone? Oh, yeah, Mark. Sure. What, tra what chat protocols besides IRC were they looking into? Oh. Currently, uh, they are, I mean, like, we are bridging from ISIS to the uh, metrics, so you can j uh, join uh, some of the projects, I mean, like either Ubuntu or Ubuntu develop, development, and everything is, is already available on the metrics. So there's a two-way, I mean, like, we are bridging between IRC and metric, so both channels that might have uh, getting the communications. Thank you. You're welcome. So any, anyone, I mean, like from the local, and for any questions, I mean, like, have you met the all the organizers, the local organizers? I mean, maybe if not now, I mean, after this, if you are new to, to this uh, project, you can meet with the Yumbin, I mean, like the rest of the local organizers after, I mean, these uh, two days. Okay, any more questions? No. Okay. I think I have a lot of time, is right? So if no, so sh can I just end my sessions or you still have uh, questions? I mean, any questions, I mean, related. If I cannot answer it, I might try to find someone that can answer, I mean, your questions. Anyone? You mean, how we get uh, questions from the online a participant? Okay. So, yeah, like this event, we have a hybrid as well. So we have a in-person here, you guys, and then we also have an online. So maybe there is a, a people, person from the uh, online can share the questions in the telegrams or something like that, in the Yubuku, Yubuku and Asia telegram. So I can I mean the organizer can have the questions. Oh yeah, Mister. Oh, thank you. I'm not very uh, familiar with the, the kind of this uh, event, and I I don't have experience to uh, con contribute this of like Ubuntu. So I don't know about the code of conduct. So can you explain what is that? Oh, okay. Thank you. So the questions, I mean, like the new people want to know about the uh, uh, code of conduct. So uh, good questions. I mean, first of all, I would like to congratulate you. I mean, you have uh, I mean, the spirits to join and to get to know and contribute. I mean, maybe in the future you're contributing into the open, open source. So basically what is uh, inside the uh, code of conduct is basically you are like being, uh, being obliged with like you are not like not being a racist, you're not like harming others, people. I mean, there's uh, some clause inside because I'm also 
quite some time. I'm so sorry. I mean, like, basically, uh, it's more on we are not like harming, I mean, like the projects. It's not, not like uh, saying bad words or, I mean, like commenting bad words. I mean, we just, because why the code conduct is being uh, produced is why it's too many, because like we are working uh, in a few regions and continent, right? So we need to bring uh, a good, uh, languages, I mean behaviors. I mean when we when we do the contributing of the projects, it means like you are we are not allowed to batch. It means that if, because we have a different different opinions, right? It means that even uh, technical. I mean all the programmers so as well. I mean like having their own opinions and how do they write codes and everything. So with this uh, code of conduct, basically, uh, it will help to manage that, right? Okay, so the, uh, I, I'm answering your question, sir. Sorry? Yeah, I think that's it. I think that's enough. Okay. You know, okay. Yeah. okay, thank you. So thank basically, you. yeah, you are, I mean, the, why I'm congratulating you is why right, you come to join. I mean, you are new. So it's not basically you must sign that first in order for you to contribute. Mm -hmm. So, for example, that today you're coming to this uh, conference as well, you're already contributing to the project, so it's like, uh -huh. it's, it's non-technical things, I mean, something that co conduct is not compulsory unless you're going to further contribute, right? Yeah, but uh, before 10 years ago, I don't see such uh, agreements in the, like, uh, only I can I see was the copyright agreement or the end user agreement, like that, something like that. But I just I just didn't understand why I should agree agree such uh, agreement of code, code of conduct. So yeah, that's yeah. All. Like for example, this is the code of conduct version 2.0, right? So this is where it explains about the uh, community and what we strive to, I mean, like, be considerate. Our work will be used by other people, and we will turn out will depends on the work of the others. Like, I need be respectful. I mean, we need to be respect with uh, all the people. Mm -hmm. we, we also have a disagreement, like I said earlier, right? So we need to respect each, uh, each uh, people's contributions and take responsibility for our words and our actions. Mm. and be collaborative, value decisiveness, clarity and consensus, ask for help when unsure, step down considerately, yeah. and this is also like uh, leadership, authority and responsibility like us, we need to adhere with the uh, code of conduct, and then the dele delegations from the tops, support for delegation is measured. Mm. So they, there is like a uh, line by lines that, so this is basically the uh, code of conduct's uh, content. So you can just go to the page and then go through the code of conduct. So this, the team works and the credits, of course, after you're contributing, see that we need to respect as well the credits. We need to give a credits if we are using their codes or we are uh, using anyone's uh, uh, informations courage and considerate conflict of interest. So basically all this basically is not like a, a, a very rigid uh, mm. contract or something. It's yeah, just yeah. like to, to help us to communicate as a local community or the worldwide community yeah. that we can work together uh, smoothly. So it's uh, basically not a law or rules, so, but it it is uh, either like no worry or be gentle. Yeah. 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 Thank you. You're welcome. So, oh, you, you mean? Thanks. Uh, so we have a question from the online participant. Okay. Uh, he want uh, the participant want to know about the some more details on the the IOC membership interview something like. What kind of questions the membership would ask, or how it schedules, something like that? Oh, okay. 
So the questions from the online audience will be like the details, what are the questions. So basically, like I said earlier, so we, we doesn't have like a schema questions uh, or marking, I mean, giving a merit to the contributors. Basically, what we will uh, interview or the question will be based on what you wrote on your personal wiki or discuss uh, applications. So from your applications, then we can see what are the projects and uh, and how you contribute and everything. So, yeah, to answer that uh, specifically, we doesn't have a, like a leak questions that we're going to give a membership. So it's basically just a human uh, communications and just get to know you. I mean, like the the applicant, and then we might uh, questions based on what you have uh, contribute. So, for example. I mean, like, so when it, when you have like a sum of a testimonial, so it's basically it, for us it's my getting less questions because that testimonial is basically already uh, confirmed. I mean, like, and then it I mean like giving you a valuations from the community or the project itself based on the testimonial. So when we read about the testimonial, so yeah, it might we might have less questions to questions, I mean, on the interview sessions. I hope that answers uh, the online audience. Okay. I think, uh, any more questions? Okay. I think if, no question, I think I need to uh, and my sessions, but if you have uh, any questions, I will be available these uh, two days at the summit. And it goes to the uh, online uh, participants. You can just uh, give a questions or find me in the Telegram or the metric as well. So you can give a questions, then I will try my best to answer the questions. So I think that's all from me, and I would like to thanks the, I'm not sure. Thanks the uh, community, I mean like the, uh, especially the uh, Ubucon organizer. I think uh, I would like to give uh, applause, I mean like from the floor as well, give the good applause to uh, organizer that managed to, to, to host this event. And I foresee there's a really uh, some challenges that we faced these two years, I mean like Last year that we, when I'm also, I mean, involved with the uh, Yubuko organizer as well, uh, we have a pandemic, so we have our online. So basically online is a less headache, so managing the uh, logistics and traveling. But this year, I would, that's why I, I congratulate uh, Ubuntu Korea local teams that we basically managed to host this event. I think it's a good event. Okay, so I would like to give applause to, to the organizers. Okay. okay, that's all. I think for me, Hamza uh, Hamida. Thank you.